Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share our work with you. The research topic is detection against replay attack, a feedback watermark approach. I'm Le Liu. We are going to separate our presentation into six parts, including research motivation, contributions, problem statement, main results, numerical example, and conclusion and future work. In this work, we have three keywords, namely cyber-physical system, replay attack, and physical watermark. We start the research motivation from the background of the first keyword, cyber-physical <laughs> system. Nowadays, due to the development of hardware equipment and telecommunication, more and more data has been used to guide industrial processes. Cyber-physical systems can collect data and realize the mutual cooperation between the information space and the physical world. Due to their high efficiency, cyber-physical systems have attracted many insights in this field. We can conclude the advantages of cyber-physical systems here. Cyber-physical systems have the ability to handle large amounts of data and make decisions based on this. Therefore, it can benefit efficiency in modern industry. Now, let's turn to the second keyword, replay attack. Due to the openness of the wireless networks in cyber-physical systems, malicious behaviors are frequently found in cyber-physical systems. Different types of attacks have been investigated, including denial-of-service attacks, forced data injection attacks, replay attacks, and so on. It has been shown that replay attacks can fool the system detector when the system is in steady state mode and make damage to the control performance. In this figure, we can see the famous virus, Stuxnet worm, had successfully attacked Iran's nuclear enrichment facilities. Actually, it invaded sensor outputs and made centrifuges overspeed. It is worth pointing out here that the Stuxnet worm is also the history's first field experiment in cyber-physical weapon technology. Replay attack has many advantages, but the most impressive one is, among all different types of attacks, replay attacks only needs to record sensor measurements and replay them to a fusing center. In other words, it does not need any model knowledge. The last keyword is physical watermark. It is designed like watermarks in the photos to identify integrity. In cyber-physical systems, it is designed to detect attacks. In order to detect malicious attacks, physical watermarks are small noises added to the control inputs. System designers add these small noises secretly. If the values of physical watermarks are kept confidential to the attackers, physical watermarks help system to identify malicious behaviors. Sys uh, physical watermarks have advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is System designers using physical watermarks to define, define, define systems don't need change architectures of control systems. They only need to design a confidential controller. However, the disadvantage is physical watermarks affect control performance of systems. Therefore, they have to be designed carefully. Our work propose, proposes a watermark generation approach with a novel feedback channel between detector outputs and watermark signal inputs. The contribution are as follow. First, the effects of replay attacks I have investigated. To be more specific, we show that the system is stable on the replay attack. 
if the system matrix A is Hurwitz. Second, we propose a novel feedback watermark approach, which can be seen as an extension to the existing works. Moreover, we study the LQG performance loss after adding the watermarks. It is shown that the detection rate will increase to a new steady state, and our method is more efficient. Third, a design formula is given to design feedback control functions, which can be utilized to generate physical watermarks. One can develop specific feedback control functions based on our formula. In this paper, we consider a general discrete linear time environment system with a common filter, an LQG controller, and a chi-squared detector. Furthermore, we assume that the Kalman filter and the LQG controller have entered in the steady state at the first time step, meaning that their gains are time invariant. And how to calculate the gain can be found in this PowerPoint. This diagram shows the basic formulation in our paper. When the replay attacker occurs, he first records the history value of the sensor outputs. After st storing enough sensor outputs, the attacker chooses a an appropriate time to re replay these signals. In doing so, he can achieve his goal of damage system of damage system control performance. Here, we give some parameters and make an example. The system operates normally before time step 200. Between time step 1 and time step 200, the attacker just records the sensor outputs. He chooses to replay these signals at time step 201. We can see from the figure here that the common estimate deviates from the true system state due to the malicious attack. Therefore, the control performance decreases. This shows that a replay attack can really damage the system. In this figure, we would like to introduce physical watermarks. The physical watermark is added to the control output here, since the attacker doesn't know the watermarks and the system states are correlated with the watermarks. The attacker's malicious behavior will be detected by the detector. We can think of YK, namely the attacker's records as outputs of the following virtual system. Then, we can analyze the effects of replay attacks with the help of this virtual system. It is worth pointing out here that this part is just for technical use, since a virtual system will simplify our analysis. We will prove our results highly dependent on this virtual system. Here, after some calculation, we can express ZK under attack by the virtual outputs and another term. The measure of this term is determined by A plus BL multiplied I minus KC. If this metric is unstable, then a chi-squared detector can detect malicious attacks easily, even without watermarks. So we have our first assumption. As to the second assumption, since the process is stable and the attacker will record a long period to launch an attack, this makes the assumption make sense. Under the above two assumptions, we have this theorem, which gives a condition that ensures the system is stable. Moreover, it investigates the LQG performance under replay attack. From this theorem, one can find how much damage can a replay attack make to a system.
In this figure, we introduce our novel feedback watermark approach to defend system against replay attacks. The components in this red rectangle is a key part of our method. To be more specific, we use a feedback control function f to control the covariance of ordinary watermarks. The idea here is to have the covariance of the watermark increase as the residue increases, hence establishing an amplifying feedback loop for the detection process. We have some summaries here to conclude some basic properties of replay attack and watermarks. For the replay attacker, the attacker is able to record and replay sensor outputs. As for the watermarks, the difference between ordinary watermark and feedback watermarks are given here. As for the ordinary watermark, the system designer just add watermark signals into control inputs directly, and the watermark signal follows a white Gaussian distribution. As to feedback watermark, the system designer add watermark signals multiplied by a feedback function. To further investigate our method, we should first study the LQG performance laws after adding feedback watermarks. This is concluded by the following theorem. This theorem gives a clear expression for the LQG performance laws, delta J. One can observe that this loss can be designed by a suitable control feedback function and the covariance of watermax. Therefore, according to how much performance loss can a system tolerate, a system designer can choose a suitable control feedback function and covariance. Next, we will introduce our key theorem. The theorem here is to show that our method with specified f is effective. The item 1 of this theorem implies that the covariance of watermarks will co converge to a steady point. Item 2 shows that our method can enlarge the expectation of detector outputs and therefore increase the detection rates of replay attacks. Thus, the feedback function can be designed based on this theorem. In the next part, we will give a numerical example to show the validity of this theorem. Here, we give, a, we give an example. The left figure explicitly shows that when the performance losses are the same, our watermark is more efficient than the ordinary one. The right figure gives an example to design covariance watermarks and the feedback functions. A system can, designer can simulate the delta first, data first and design the watermarks based on the graph. Okay, we have the conclusion and the future work as follow. In this paper, we propose a feedback watermark approach to detect malicious replay attacks in cyber-physical systems. In the future, we want to investigate the colored feedback watermarks instead of white feedback watermarks. Moreover, we want to explore more efficient feedback functions. This will help the system designer to design an to design a more appropriate watermax to defend replay attacks. Thank you for your time and thank you for your listening.